there's been another Mavic 3 update, which includes some new features. Let's jump into it. So there's been some new features with the DJI Mavic 3 that just came out in the latest firmware update. The update is version 01.00.1. .00 zero 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 and with this update we are now getting added 4k 24 to 25 frames per second resolution for night mode added waypoint flight which i'm going to demonstrate in this video and optimized the flight altitude limit there's also an update for the dji rc pro which i'm on right now which adds offline maps Go to profile offline maps to download maps of your planned flight destinations and have the maps displayed even when there is no network connection and they fixed some minor bugs so yeah basically the update comes in at 1781.45 megabytes for the whole thing and actually the mavic 3 update is only 408.94 megabytes so it's smaller compared to the rc pro update yeah, basically with this update, those are the new features and I'm about to try the waypoints and I'll come back after we're done. Okay guys, so I have the drone in the air and if you actually look on the left side of the screen, you will notice a new option. It looks like an arrow with like a squiggle. That is the waypoint option. So I'm gonna select that and you have to hit the C1 button to add a waypoint. So I'm gonna hit the C button once and then I'm gonna fly a little bit forward, not too far. I want to keep the drone in my sight. So right about there. And I'm going to stop right there and hit the C1 button again. Wow, look at these colors right now. The sunset is nice. So now I'm just flying in a different direction. And I'm going to set a third one. So right there. So now I've set three waypoints and I'm gonna hit next. Um, and then it says the speed will be 5.5 miles an hour. Uh, at the end of flight, return to home. Uh, return to home on signal lost. And the star point is waypoint one. So I'll hit go and we'll see what happens here. So now the drone is flying back to waypoint one. So here we are. And then I wonder if it'll turn around. Yep, it's turning around. Wow, that's sunset. This was the perfect time to fly. It's adjusting the camera to exactly how I had it. So that's pretty cool. It's flying to the second waypoint right now. And the speed was only five miles an hour. So that's pretty slow but I notice now it's drifting. So it's not really following where I set the waypoint. It's now like flying kind of over the road, which I'm not too happy with, but I can see it right here. So um, let's, uh, this is a brand new feature by the way. Now it's like kind of drifting back to the second waypoint. And now it'll be interesting to see what it does here. Okay, it, it's going to the third waypoint right now. Um, it's interesting because it like didn't it when it went from the first waypoint to the second one it aimed in the direction I flew in but then it like got off track and now it, from the second to the third it's like slowly turning around and now it's coming back home. So yeah, that was my experience using the waypoints feature. It's a new feature and a lot of people have been asking for it. Yeah, so overall cool update. It's awesome to see DJI adding new features to the drone, making it, you know, more fun to fly and different functionalities. Uh, and I think over time, the waypoints feature will probably get better. So it was cool getting to try it. There's a lot going on. It's so loud right now. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.